Hello and all, welcome to a Galaxy Man Show interview show. So for my very first guest of this week is this incredible person and actor uh, who is the next in line in space, Yellow Ranger, uh, Ashley's son uh, from Power Rangers in Space. So I'm about to give him an incredible ad into the live now to have a chat and talk all things Power Rangers in Space and all things like what it's like to create this character. Uh, of um, Ashley's son. So yeah, let's add him in and here we go. What's up, my man? Hey, nothing much. What's up? What's up? Sorry, I was having a little technical difficulties, but uh, everything's all good now. Awesome. Well, it's a pleasure to have you on the show, by the way. Uh, if no, thanks for having me. me. You're very welcome. So to people that don't know who you are, if you give like an inter inter introduction of yourself and like explain a bit about what you do and then we'll dive yeah. right into the questions. Yeah, so hi everybody. My name is Sean Clark Dillon. Uh, I'm an actor, but uh, most recently I'm playing the uh, the next uh, Yellow in Space Ranger. So that's pretty fun. Uh, it's kind of a dream come true that it's kind of like a mantle passed on to me. So yeah, I am the next Yellow in Space Ranger. So we'll dive right into the questions now. So what's it like getting to represent the son of Ashley, the in space yellow ranger? Um, it was a surprise. It was a t happy accident actually, because I mean, every kid dreams of like, yeah, I want to be a power ranger, you know, like you watch it and be like, yeah, I, I'm the red one. I'm the blue one with all your friends, you know? Um, and you know, Tracy's a really good friend of mine, and I, I really love her. She's she's great. She's like a second mom to me, actually. So when I came up with the idea of, like, hey, what if, would it be cool if, like, you had, like, a descendant hanging on the mantle stuff? And she loved the idea. So she was just, we were just working together and stuff, and she just loves the idea. Like, yeah, you take on the mantle, yeah, Gil in space. And it's just, it's surreal almost to this day. I'm, I still have to pinch myself to believe, like, this is happening. So I'll talk about our next question. So with, with like, representing the Yellow in Space Ranger, uh, the son of Ashley, like, what has been your most favorite memorable, memorable moment? And, like, if you could be in, like, any fan series creation, would you, like, want to join, like, a Power Rangers fan series creation, like, you know, about studios? Which is... Incredible. Um, yeah, I, I love the Shattered Past guys. They're, they're friends of mine, D, DJ and Colin. They're cool. They're really cool guys. Um, I'm not going to say whether I'm in anything or not. Like, to confirm, what I would like to be is, yeah, I would obviously I'd love to. Like, I'd love to expand the character and the, the fan series and even, like, the Crimson Studio comics. That'd be really fun to do. Um, to be in anything Power Rangers related would just be really fun in general. Um, but you said, you said, what was my favorite memory you said? Yeah. With, with what exactly? So what, like, what's your favorite, like, memorable moment, like, about betraying the Yellow Ranger in Space Ranger? Um, ah, it's a really hard one. <laughs> um, I don't know how to answer that. Uh, mostly, I mean, I just love Tracy in general. She She's a big inspiration. The reason why I said I, I... I don't know if you know this, but I have her helmet tattooed on me. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, mostly because her story really spoke to me in the fact that, like, her her being a mom spoke to me about me, me with my, my personal relationship with my mother, where she gave up acting and basically being a power ranger to raise her children. That really sued me when she told me that story because that's basically the story with my mom she gave up everything just to raise her children and so i guess i would say that's that's my favorite memory of like being the yellow ranger i guess so i'll talk about your next question for you so with portraying the yellow in space ranger if like what has been your like what has been your like most favorite like design because i saw that incredible design you made of fan art with yourself as the in space yellow ranger yeah. what was it like creating that fan art uh 
Um, I like it's so cool because I've never actually seen myself in the suit, which I'm kind of in the works on to get a suit. I'm actually getting my helmet made as we speak. But to see myself like just an artwork of me in the suit, it's like. I couldn't stop staring at it for like half an hour. Like I re legitimately couldn't stop staring at it. It's still my phone wallpaper. I, I, it's like, wow, like that's, that's me. I couldn't believe it. And, and Tracy couldn't believe it either. And she loves it. Uh, it's, it's just so cool. And it, it's, it's just a little stepping stone of stuff to come, you know? And I, and I, and I can't believe I'm still part of this thing. Awesome. So I'll tell you the very next question. So, how long have you been like watching Power Rangers for? Like back in like back in the day, like what has been your favorite season of Power Rangers or like any like favorite episodes that you like? Um, so I've been watching Power Rangers since I can remember, man. And I know my favorite episode of all time. It's it's still one of my favorites. And it's not even in my favorite series. It's in uh, Lost Galaxy. It's when in space and Lost Galaxy team up. That is, to this day, it is one of my favorite episodes and probably one of the best crossovers in all Power Ranger history, where Psychos fight the two Power Ranger teams. That's, to me, like, still one of my favorite, like, Power Ranger memories and episodes. But my favorite my favorite uh, series would have to be In Space and Time Force. I love Time Force a lot. Love it. So, I'm sorry, next question. So... If you could, like, if your ranger actually signed to team up with any past rangers, who would you, like, want to team up with from any past That's, seasons? So, um, my good buddy of mine, Jack Guzman, who was Black Wild Force. I would love to team up with him, just for the fact that I... I feel like we wouldn't stop laughing if we were acting together because I, I mean he's just he's just an overall straight dude. Um, but I would all I would love and I I talked Tracy about it. Wouldn't it be cool if like you and I teamed up like mother son type team up? I think that would be cool. Her wielding the turbo helmet and me wielding the space helmet would be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, that that would be my biggest like whoa, and obviously like I think it's, it's his dream, right? Well, obviously with JDF the big man, right? And that would be like anyone's dream to like team up with him. So I'll tell you the next question. So how long have you been doing like acting for? Like, how, what what made your passion acting in the first place? Um, I got into acting very at a very young age when I didn't even know I was acting. I would just whenever I'd watch a movie, I think everyone, I think a lot of people have done this, where you watch a movie and you think you're that character in the movie, and you start recreating the movie in your own way, in a sense. So I'd go home and start, you know, doing the lines from movies, and I would do them in school. And I was I was noted as like a really weird kid, but I didn't know I was acting at the time. I just I was just recreating scenes from movies, and then I got into the acting scene when I got into theater. Uh, like during high school, that's what was like my, I live in a really small town. So I, the theater scene isn't very big. So I got into theater then. Uh, I did a, I did some theater in college, which I did some, I did like a Beauty and the Beast production, like in college. Uh, that was really fun to do. And I still love it to this day. Uh, I did some, and the, the reason I got into acting or I wanted to get into acting is because I realized you can pretend to be other people and it's a job like i thought that was the coolest thing ever like i think that's awesome and just pretending to be these other people and acting is just super fun and so satisfying as an art as an art form in general i i love it so much and getting any opportunity to act in anything is super super fun man and, and i if you love it then keep go at it man I, and i would not recommend anything else to anybody <laughs> so i'll say very next question so what what like what's next for you like what's like big things coming like what do you have planned for like the rest of 2022 yeah so i actually surprisingly i have a yellow in space project going on uh it's gonna be i'm gonna start filming in june so i'm gonna be filming in june i already got my my cameraman my director i got a few people working on it um, we're looking at film locations, but I already have a rough draft, which I've actually, funny enough, I've sent to Tracy already, and she loved it. 
So well, that's in the working for June for my Yellow Space um, project. Uh, and then acting wise, I mean, other projects, I would love to start doing short films, not even related to pairing, just just doing short films about telling a story, a beautiful story and making movies would be fun as well. So if you could, I have to ask, if you can play any other mm -hmm. like character apart from a Power Ranger, like what other characters would you like to play in, in part, like in, if you could? Yeah, so I've always, so I, I've asked this to a few friends of mine, but I've never had it asked to me, but I've always dreamt of, I think it would be really cool, like really cool to play like a John Wick type character, you know, like you're this dude that can't be killed and he's just so badass, like I, I would love to play that. Uh, I think I would love to play like a uh, World War II soldier, I think those movies are super interesting and super gr dark that I would love to be a part of that where I don't even care if like I have no lines, just anything with World War II is super interesting, like to be playing. Um, yeah, that, I think that's, that was my, that's my, that's the first thing that comes to my head. Just like very historical films would be really cool to play in. So on to our very next question. So with being the Yellow Ranger, uh, what, like, what's like the whole, like what has been your like top, like what has been your top like top memorable like moment or like i don't know like if you could go like to any planet as your ranger like what planet uh -huh. would you want to go to um coruscant in star wars absolutely yes. I, I'm a big Star Wars nerd, and I, I think Coruscant would be super fun to explore with, like, all the Jedis and aliens and just morphing and fighting uh, bounty hunters. That'd be super cool. Yes, I love it. So, on to my very next question. So, here's a tri tricky one. So, if you, mm -hmm. like, with your Yellow Ranger in Space Ranger, so if, a Ash so if, what, if, if Ashley got to say, like, if you, your, your, if the son of Ashley got to meet, his mom in person got to do a, like an epic team up what would you mm -hmm. want for the storyline oh you know what that's i and i've been thinking about that so much because if it happens which it could be possible if it happens it would have to be her and i against evil andros right yes. it would have to and it i think that would be so cool that you know because andros is now like a villain in some way now and I think that would just be the coolest thing ever. Like her and I, two Yellow Rangers teaming up against evil Andros. You know, I, I think that would be super cool. That that would be my story. But ask me again in like six months, I might give you a different answer. Awesome. So what do you think of Bloodline on the Grid, by the way? Like with the whole Andros story? I think it is what Power Rangers should be should have been like as not even should have been like I'm, I'm glad power rangers it is now but bloodline is what is made for people who grew up with power rangers people who watch power rangers in the 90s the 2000s they're now in their 20s and their 30s and you know they're adults now we're watching things rated rpg 13 and i'm glad power rangers for kids don't get me wrong but bloodline is definitely pg-13 power rangers it's like this is for people who are more mature now it's a more mature story storyline and I, I love that what they're doing. I love what Colin's doing. I love what DJ's doing. I love, I mean, what Christopher's doing with the character of Andros. It's it's definitely evolving into something bigger than just oh, this is a show for kids. And I like that they're taking that step towards it. And I I couldn't praise it anymore for what it is, honestly. Like with all these like fan creations of Power Rangers, onto that, like with all these fan creations of Power Rangers, like Nobot Studios and like yeah. all these other incredible like projects like uh shout out to power Rangers origins uh the cast yep. are incredible for that uh, like if any of these like creations could all come together and just form one big extended universe like power rangers origins like crosses over with like nobot studios like would you like want to team like would you want to work with any of those guys like Power oh power man, Ab absolutely. And I'm not. I'm not gonna say I'm in anything. I'm not gonna agree or deny anything. But I. I would absolutely, man. I and 
that, that I think that's why I created this character for the fact that I would like to see a descendants of Power Rangers. Like these people eventually grew up. Like these Power Rangers eventually grew up. I mean, I think eventually Tommy in the storyline has a child. And I would just like to see like what if these their children, their descendants like just grab the mantle and just started, you know, doing what, you know, be a superhero because as kids you want to be a superhero. And I I think that's a super interesting story of like dude, my dad was a superhero or like like my mom was a superhero. Why I should I would love to I would love to do that. So I, I think that's a, another story I would like to see. And that's what I, I, I want to do with my characters. Well, what would these Power Rangers kids react to them being a Power Ranger, you know? Awesome. So, on to, so on to my very last question. So if you could uh, do any, like, if you could go anywhere or tr like uh, once, like, to, like what's next for you? Like tour, tour wise, do you have any tours planned or anything to, um, so I'm going to, like, you're asking me where personally I'm going. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to be at anime, uh, the anime Riverside con with Colin and DJ. Uh, I'm going to be there, uh, June 4th and 5th. I'm definitely going to be at PMC with alongside Tracy. I'm going to have my guy told me he'll have my helmet by then. So I don't have to, and my pictures, I'm using Tracy's helmet because I'm still getting mine made. So um, I'm have, I'll have my helmet by then, and uh, I'll be alongside Tracy at her booth. And hopefully I, I, I can work things out with Scott, the guy who runs PMC. I can work things out with Scott to let me uh, – I would love to MC some panels, especially the in-space one. And I, I, I just hope to – I hope that this grows. Like, I really hope – that the fact that I was noticed by the Bloodline guys, that to me was just surreal. Like, I didn't think they knew about me. I didn't think they knew I existed. But when DJ came up to me and he's like, I, I, I got to say hi to my, a fellow teammate, he said. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know I exist, I said. And that was just surreal to me. I, I love that my my Ranger isn't just a concept anymore. It's now, like Tracy says, you are you are the Yellow Space Ranger now. And... I, and it's i hope it only gets me to do even more things with the character and even expand my creativity in a way well i just want to say it was such a pleasure having you on my show for today. oh man it was uh, the pleasure was all mine man oh man it's been such a pleasure as i said again um what do you have like any last final thoughts that you'd like to give to people on the show like anything that you would like to take from this uh, um honestly just do what you love keep I'm just going to say, um, if you have any ideas, just do them. Don't talk about it. Just do them. You have, make a rough draft. If it sucks, who cares? You can edit that. Just keep creating and keep making. You will learn from your mistakes. You will learn. Your first project is going to suck. I'm going to say that. It is going to suck because you are just learning to do things. You don't have to take any acting classes. You don't have to make any film classes. Just start doing stuff. Just make what you want to make. There's an audience for it. There's an audience, there's an audience for everything you want to do. Just create something that you want to create, and somebody will love it. Awesome. Well, <laughs> thank you so much again. It's been such a pleasure. Uh, everyone, definitely go uh, support the incredible next in line in space, uh, son of Ashley. So yeah, everyone definitely go give me the amazing. I, I just got, I just got uh, one more thing to say. I got, I got one, one more thing to say. One more thing to say. All right, uh, let's rock. That's it. That's all I have to do. <laughs>